Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Uh, website is Llewellyn.com. There is a companion book with this version, if you're interested, if you search for it. Uh, supportive Oracle Cards, Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. They're their full names. There is a website for them, shewhoisart.com. I can hold it still long enough so you can if you need to freeze frame there. All right, so if you want that information, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. What do we got for Virgo? Oh, that's quite good. All right. <laughs> oh, this might be really good. What's at the bottom? Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. A lot of Earth coming in. Earth is very good for Virgo. Um, the, the usual Virgo energy, anyway. Um, oh, you're doing well. What's at the bottom? Healing? Healing is at the bottom. Something is going a lot better. Something's progressing where you want it to. I don't think this is like, um, like Sunshine Roses. Home card came out too, by the way, which is another Virgo energy here. Healing, home, what you want to happen. I don't feel like this is just kind of like everything is beautiful, skipping down the street. I feel like something was not going right. I feel like that's because something is moving on. Something was not going right. And I feel like we're seeing progression in the right direction. And Virgo tends to believe in like slow, dependable changes. If it just changes like that, stereotypical Virgo energy is like, hmm. Like, why? Like, I, I, it's, a hard, it's hard for Earth to accept or trust something that changes in two seconds. Because it's kind of, it, if it went in a good direction in two seconds, it can go in a bad direction in two seconds, too. So it's kind of like, I want something more stable. I want to see it change. I want to know why it's better. I want to believe in it. And I want to know why I can believe in it. Like, show me why. Give me some proof. I need something to build. Like, I don't want something. I feel like I don't want it to be fixed in five seconds. I'm like, I don't trust that. I want it to be fixed. I want it to be fixed slowly so I know I can believe in it and it's going to stick. I think this is working very well. Um, you've got a lot of positive energy. Um, you're influencing something. Ironically, this is where we're headed, but I feel like it's not going to show up very fast. But I, th I feel like you can see it in the distance. And it's kind of like, as long as we get there, but again, I want, I want to get there and know it's going to stay. I don't want five second changes. I don't like it because if it can go good in five seconds, it can go bad in five seconds. I'm not here for that. Nope. Um, easy come, easy go is kind of how I feel. We're headed towards something. I get that. This energy is changing. That's good. Somebody else might not be making out in this situation. Somebody else might have failed and they're not making out in this situation, but you are. And I feel like, hey, that's on them. They made their choices. You make your bed, you gotta lie in it. That's how it works. I don't know if I need to say this or not. I'm kind of conflicted for some reason. Don't feel bad for them if they made choices that just didn't work out. You're making choices that are working out in your favor. Um, I don't know. I, like, I'm questioning if I even need to say that. But, like, are they trying to get you? Like, stand your ground. If somebody made bad choices and they're getting a bad result, they need to fix that. That's not for you to fix for them. I almost feel like some of you are going to get this poor me thing, like, oh, Virgo, you got to help me. I ran with scissors and I hurt myself. Fix me up. Give me the money so I can fix my life. And it's kind of like, listen, I'll drop you off at the emergency room, but you're going to have to walk in there and have it taken care of, and you're going to have to pay for that. That's not my business. I'm not the one who ran with scissors. Um, it's kind of like that interesting energy here. There is kind of that grieving energy with the Ten of Pentacles. It's telling me somebody's learning a harsh lesson. I don't think it's you, but you, you might be witnessing it. And it's kind of like, no, no, no. They need to learn their lesson. You're doing fine. You need to keep doing fine. you got a lot of Pentacles coming in. King of Pentacles, don't get caught up in the gender, but you got the, the protection with the King of Pentacles, and there's a female in the protection, but I'm getting like, you know what you're doing. You're seeing this correct. Somebody else might be paying for it. But I feel like the way they're paying for it, it's kind of like, they, I don't know, they made this huge mess. And they have to fix it. 
but it's kind of like the protection is almost like don't fix it for them. I feel like I don't know if this sounds like I don't know how this goes. I don't. Don't help them. Look at you know what to do here. You 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 know what you're looking at. I feel like you know what you're looking at, and I'm getting like don't help them, especially if they're this type of person. Like they they make this huge mess, huge mess, huge mess, and then people come and fix it for them or help them fix it. They need to fix the whole thing themselves. Because I feel like this is not the first time. How do I explain this better? I'm going to use like a, a 13 or 14 year old that like trashes their room having a temper tantrum. And then their parent comes in and helps them clean it up and then replaces everything that was broken. And it just keeps happening. And they use the, exp or the, the excuse like, well, I just get upset. I can't help it. And they, it's like the, the parent has to make them clean it up and stop helping them clean it up. Don't let them go anywhere till it's clean, but stop replacing things too. Kind of like, hey, you broke your TV? Well, I guess you're out without a TV for a while. That's how that goes. I just feel like it, and other people might be like, well, they need that for this and they need that for that. They can use the family one. They're going to have to use that for their this and for their that. And they're going to have to do it, like, I'm going to have to schedule time. They're going to have to do it this time. They're going to have to do it that time. They may not like that. Maybe inconvenient for the rest of us, too, a little bit. But they're not going to like it more than we're not going to like it. And they need to learn their lesson. we got to stop replacing these things. Because I feel like people have done that. They replace certain things like, well, I replaced the computer. I replaced the, this thing. Because if I don't, then they, it, it's more of a difficulty for everybody else. Yeah, but sometimes you just still have to make them go through it. Because I feel like it's more uncomfortable for them than you, and they gotta learn something like that. Like that's an analogy. Kind of apply that the way you need to. Because I feel like they're saying, "Stop helping." You you seem to be doing something that's kind of like, "Yeah, well, I'm making it easier on me too." But yeah, whatever. There's something here where we gotta stop helping for a while. And I feel like if you look at it, you know what I'm talking about. If this is hitting, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. You know, it's, it's a general read. Do what you need to do, obviously, but we got to stop helping for something here because it's like the help is like doubling back. It's not working. And I feel like this is another thing with the Ten of Pentacles and the grieving. And then you holding back here with the Four of Pentacles. That's the advice. Like, don't, don't pick up their mess for them. And I feel like it's kind of like, well, I'm not picking up the whole mess. No, don't pick up any of it. I'm getting don't pick up any of it. Make them do every single bit. And you might have to go through this a couple times with them. Because not for nothing, you know... A person that has to pick up the whole mess and then have to, has to wait for things to be replaced because they have to gather the money themselves versus somebody who's like, okay, you're going to help me clean this up and then you'll pay for this so that I can have it. Like, that's different. It's different. You know what I mean? It's much more, like, they'll think about it more. They'll, they'll have more of a reason, more of a motivation to keep themselves under control. Um, it seems like a Virgo would get this anyway, but I feel like you're helping. And it, maybe it's just you don't realize what you're helping. Maybe it's just this needs to highlight. And it's like when you really look at it, you're like, well, yeah, actually, yeah. Because um, I feel you're stabilizing this. I feel like you have a lot of emotional investment in this. You are stabilizing this, though. And it seems like it almost feels like it's kind of like I feel like this is a little harsh. Not like I don't feel it is, but it's almost like you might relate to it like, oh, I think this is kind of harsh. But maybe that's what it needs to be. And I feel like it's really not that bad. It's just kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to be overly aggressive with it or something. Or I don't want to be cruel. Or I don't want to be cold-hearted about it. Something like that. But this is where the real progress begins. You, Ironically, you holding back is where the real progress really begins. This person, things get better because they have to take control of the situation without your help. They have to do it all by themselves. They have to find other ways to make it correct. And that gets them thinking. The King of Swords is like somebody's like, wait a minute. I put myself in this position. Wait a minute. The Virgo's not just going to fix it? Like, I was depending on them to at least fix this piece of it. And they're not even fixing this piece of it anymore? Like, I was, I was counting on them to fix that piece. Like, I could have my temper tantrum. They would fix that piece and then I could live with it. It was fine. I was okay with it. I was at peace with screwing this up this way because the... Virgo enabled me a little bit. It may be a little harsh, but that's what I'm getting. Um, I mean, it's a general read. It won't fit for everybody, but if it's for you, you know, it, it does or not. Um, and the hermit's coming in. Like, they're seeing your point of view. When you're holding back, they're seeing your point of view. I feel like it makes sense to them why you're not doing this for them anymore. Um, I feel like they also know you well enough, kind of like if you've made up your mind... That's how it is. 
And I feel like they're seeing that too, like, oh boy. Good times have come to a close here. Like, the Virgo said no. And I feel like the more they, they push you, the more you're like, no, I said no. I feel like you're kind of like Capricorn somewhat. Kind of like the more that somebody pushes and you've made up your mind, the more you hold your ground. I think that's Virgo too, though. I think, I mean, your Earth, I feel, I feel like once you've made up your mind, you're like, oh, no, we're not doing that. Um, and they seem to get it. I feel like once this starts correcting this time, and it may take a couple times is what I'm getting, they need to realize this is not just a moment. Because I'm getting the two of cups with one cup showing at first and forgiveness coming in. Like, at first we're, we're showing, like, we're not going to play this game anymore. It may take a couple times around. Like, that second cup might have to show up as in the second time around. This might have to go around a couple times. And the more they get used to it, the more they realize, like, oh... You mean the Virgo wasn't just having, like, an attitude moment? Like, they really mean that? Oh. Because the more times they go through it, the more they're not liking it. And the forgiveness comes in, and the Two of Cups coming in for your side is kind of like you're loving this long-term. Again, long-term sun card, long-term outcome, kind of like we're fixing something. We're stopping a behavior. We're stopping something from happening. So something I've been dancing around, I feel like has been here the whole time, some of you might be in a relationship where somebody you're in a relationship with, and I feel like this is very personal for some people, and everybody has, everybody has the right to handle their relationship the way they see fit. I feel like somebody is doing, if you're in a relationship, the other person is doing something you don't like, we'll just leave it simple like that. And maybe you've put up with it for a while, and maybe this is where you're not putting up with it anymore. And you're showing this person, like, listen, if you want to go that direction, this is what's going to happen. It may be more than one time, and then you have to make your decisions appropriately, what you feel is correct. It's your relationship, if that's how this hits, and you're the person in control of that. Because I feel like you're setting a standard, and you're like, well, if you're going to keep doing that, whatever they're doing, it may mean forgiveness, because I'm noticing somebody kind of looking out here in the horizon. Maybe maybe you're going to have to go on to something else. It's kind of like, listen, you're going to keep doing that? Maybe you're going to do that without me. And that might lead you towards the Two of Cups with somebody else. It depends on what you're dealing with. It's either one of two things. Two of Cups with somebody else or Two of Cups with them, because it's going to correct the behavior. It's just kind of like, which way is the behavior going to be corrected? With them or without them? And I feel like whatever you're dealing with, you know what that is. You decide what that's right. That's your business to decide what's right there, obviously. Because um, I feel like you're not putting up with it anymore. And you may have been putting up with it for a while, maybe you, for whatever reason. But you're coming to the point where, wait a minute, I've decided no more. And it might happen more than once. But the second time is going to clinch it. Like, this is where we're going. If you're going to do that, this is what I'm going to do, and that's how it's going to be. I've seen it, this go a couple different ways. I feel like I should let it be, but I feel like for those of you that's going to hit with, it'll make sense. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.